Okay, here we are. Welcome to Dolly Talk Tuesday, where I'm trying to get my life together. Here we go. There we go. Woo! Hello, and welcome to Dolly Talk Tuesday. I am Asenva, and we here on my channel like to talk about all things about BJDs. And um, today's topic is BJD carrying cases. So this is kind of a um, fun one to do because some people, I mean, you know, YOLO, you just get a tote bag, wrap your doll in a towel, throw them in there, and you're good to go, okay? Like, that's all you need. As long as they have a face protector, I mean... You can make anything work. Anything can be your BJD carrying case. But for those who are wanting to be, you know, a little bit, you know, maybe bougie. Maybe you want to be just like styling and wiling, you know. You're at that doll meet and you just want to roll up with your doll bag. It's like super cool looking. Today I have some pretty interesting BJD carrying cases for us to look at. Of course, before we start, as usual, welcome. This is the blog. Uh, I do articles and different things like that regarding the BJD hobby, and I actually just released another comic, because those are fun to do. Um, but yes, on my website here, which is bjdlife.com, you can find all sorts of different things, um, articles for people that are new to the hobby, or articles for friends who are veterans. So feel free to check that out, and uh, yeah, have fun with that. So that is there for you for you. And actually, I think I'm going to be converting today's video into an article. So that way you guys can get a little bit more in depth. If this is a little bit too fast or too long, you guys can just go to the article and wham, bam, shabam, you can uh, take a look at the carrying cases at a glance in a nutshell. All right. All right. So let us get started with tonight, shall we? So I ain't gonna lie, when I go to uh, my local meets, I like to roll up in style and, oh god, this is heavy because there's something in it. I think I mentioned it in our last Dolly Talk Tuesday because I was like, yeah, I really like this carrying case I got. It is bougie as heck. So this is my Dalmore SD Double Carrier. And I got it from Dalmore. It was a Christmas present. And I really like it. It has lasted me since I've been in the hobby. So that's like 10 years. And I haven't seen any scratches, dents, tears, nothing like, you know, ripping apart or falling apart. It's good quality. And that's because I shove more than two dolls in there. Okay? Let's just get real. I, I shove like... Two SDs, maybe like a couple of MSDs. I can shove some USDs in those pockets in the front, you know. So, take it as you will. So, Dalmore is our first store that we are going to be visiting tonight. Gigglefish, how are you doing? Hello. Uh, and there you can see my double SD bag. I'm, I'm loving the fact that it's in pink, okay? I totally would love to get one in pink. Maybe get two carrying cases. I don't know. But um, Dalmore has a large variety of BJD carrying cases. Now, the tricky thing, of course, since you're getting it from Dalmore, um, is that that shipping is probably going to punch you in the face a little bit. You know, it's kind of expensive. But but look, guys, buy over $1,500 worth of merch and you get free shipping. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys about this. I always feel kind of funny about that. But, you know. Um, it's cool though, because they do offer different sizes. And as you'll see today, um, there's, there's kind of a huge amount of things for like MSD dolls and USD dolls. But when it gets to our SD size dolls, that's our one third scale big guys that are, you know, 65 centimeters and above. There's not a lot, not a lot. So kind of sad about that. So if you're into making things and you know you want to start up, drum up a business, I mean, I feel like that's an untapped market. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, I just got a new doll friend in today, so I'm doing fine. Ooh, who did you get, Giga? Who'd you get? Mm-hmm. Mm. Who'd you get? 
Anyway, so taking a look here, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Lots of classy stuff. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's still here or not. But back in the day when Asenba was young and new... <laughs> oh, they don't have it. Back in the day, they sold like a really cool coffin case. And I want to say it could fit like a larger doll size inside of it. I don't know if it was MSD or USD or what SD size. I have no idea, but I just thought it was so cool because it was a coffin shaped bag and I was like, that's pretty legit. Okay, not gonna lie. But they do have like these little bougie bags here, you know, looking like it's Dooney and Burke or something. And then you've got that bougie little tag there and she's like, mm -hmm, yeah, what am I carrying? Oh, you know, it's just a couple things in a doll. So... Uh, I think what I like about Dom Moir is that they do have these little seat belts in their, um, in their carrying cases. And my SD bag here, I have a total of four seat belts in my carrying case. Holy cow, I was wondering why this was so heavy. There's like my respirator, some pastels, a whole mess of stuff in here. Uh, yeah, that's what I kind of like about my Dom Moir bag, ain't gonna lie. It's got these cute little like straps in here. That you can seat belt buckle your boys or your gals, whoever. I like this little secret hidden pocket in the back. I'll shove a doll in there sometimes too. So very spacious. It's padded. Now, I think a lot of people's complaints is that it's not crazy padded. But like the fact that they're strapped in there and stuff, they ain't gonna move anywhere. Like they're fine. So I mean this is, you know, ten years old and it's beautiful and it's lasted me all this long this long time and I love my bag, so it is what it is. I got a 14-year-old doll zone. <gasps> Head with the original face up. What? Congrats. Yo, I have to look up which that one is. I'm trying to think of who that who that who that dude is. So cool. Congrats. Hey Katie, what's up? Still looking for something that can safely carry my bigger dolls plus my computer. Oh wow, that'd be that's that's I mean I could fit, like, a mini laptop in here probably in the back. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's an option for you. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big bag, okay? It's it's pretty big, so. Have you seen the body bag carrying case? It's my goals. Are you talking? Oh, wait. Is it from this company or are you talking about somewhere else? Because I feel like I've seen one. And then they have, like, a doctor's bag, I think, down here, which is this one here. They have, like, a doctor's bag, which is this one. I mean, it still looks really nice. It's like leather and everything. So, I mean, me. Hey. Uh, does it say who it carries? This one looks pretty big. I think this is probably like S, maybe a same size? I don't know who this is for. But he looked pretty big. I think I've seen those at what you're talking about, though. Thanks. I don't know how long the face up will last. Oh, hopefully for, you know, a long time. Even though he's 14 years old, it'll last for a little bit longer, maybe. Yeah, not gonna lie. I really, really am sad about them not having that coffin bag anymore. They used to have this really cool coffin bag. But today I do have some coffin bags to show you. They aren't, you know, these big ones. But on Instagram, yeah, I think I have. Hmm. That's the one avenue I didn't look at was, like, sales on Instagram. I probably should have done that, too, to look at them. But anyway, Dalmor offers a plethora of bags to choose from and look at. And, I mean, I can testify and tell you that I really like my Dalmor bag. So, you know. Dang! This must be huge! Do you see this Trinity doll size bag? The Trinity is like a hundred and something or 90, 80 centimeters or something is the doll size. This must be flipping huge. Look at her in there. Where is she? They have a picture. There she is. She's like, what's up? I'm just sleeping. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how big that is compared to the person. <gasps> That's so huge. At that point, I would just get like a really cool guitar case and just shove her in there. So, I mean, me. What's up, Mimi? What's up? A violin case, right, Icarus? For sure. Anyone else tempted to repurpose their diaper bag they no longer use? No joke, Morgana. Like, I got a really bougie, like, from a baby shower from my mom's, like, super duper successful, like, mega rich friend. She got me a really fancy, um, what's the brand name? It's like, uh, not Dooney and Burke. Coach. A coach baby bag. I was like, what am I going to do with this? Like, I put literally, there's going to be diaper and formula in here. Yeah, I've literally actually thought about that. But, you know, this is freaking a cello. <laughs> Never mind, a cello bag. 
Yeah, dude, this is huge. She's probably like, look at her. She's like putting half of her weight backwards because this doll's probably freaking heavy. Oh my god. Hey, Betty. What's up? No, you didn't miss much. We're just, we just, this is the first company that we're looking at right now is Dollmore, and they have like a bajillion doll, doll things. I actually really like these backpacks too. They have a bajillion things to choose from. This one's a double MSD, so they probably sit like my SD size does. Let's look. Open it. Open her up. Oh, did they sit the other way? Oh, they stand up in this bag. I thought they were going to sit like L-shaped, like mine. That's kind of cool. I just want to be this model in the pictures and just be like, what the bag? <laughs> that's what I want to be. Dang, that's actually pretty big because they're standing in this bag. I thought they were going to be sitting down. Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. You know. It's bigger than my 72-inch Dika doll. Yeah, man. That other doll is, like, freaking huge. Crazy huge. Anyway. So, yeah, Dalmore. Check them out. You know, it's one of those big brand places and whatnot and yada, yada, yada. So, all right. And enjoy that. Next I have for you is Lutz. And I thought this bag was pretty funny. Let's has like maybe three or four bags to choose from. Um, but these are the ones that kind of stood out to me. A photo shoot with doll bags. Right? Right. Uh, this one's super cute. Okay, because at first I was like, okay, are they inside the bag? Like it's a backpack. And it looks like they have this little Eda pocket in the front that you probably could shove like a... 27 centimeter like a little smaller than that maybe where these bears are sitting like i don't know but then when you look at the photos that are next oh no just kidding i thought that was doing the photos next when you look at the photos here they are down here look it's a little usd and they have her like sitting on the side they have two pockets for sds or usds so on the left and then the right side of the bag. I kind of like this though. Okay, so what you're going to see from a lot of these bags today is that I really like it when they have a clear pocket. Like that you can see like what's inside. Now I feel like this is like a double-edged sword. One, it's cool because you get to be like, hey, look. And it's like a huge Eda bag like with BJDs in it. But like second, like you really can't place that. If you drop your bag somewhere like at a convention and people see that there's dolls inside, your bag's probably going to get stolen. I mean, granted, if you leave your bag at a convention, it's going to get stolen. But like this is just like advertising to people like what's in your what's in your backpack. But I like it. What? With chairs inside? Gigglefish, what are you talking about? Where? Where have you seen a bag with a chair inside of it? You have to send that to me. What in the world? But yeah, this one's super cute. And I was like, hey, look, it's like a backpack and you could put things inside of it. But, you know, they didn't show the inside of the backpack, did they? They just showed the outsides. I mean, I guess it's just a backpack and you can just throw your little babies in the sides. But yeah, for your $45 for this beautiful little thing. Hey, Bean, what's up? Yeah, so that is pretty neat. I like that you, I like that, I think they sell these pins too. Because I was looking through the accessories or something like that. And that'd be kind of cool too. To put all like BJD related pins and make it like a real Eda bag, you know? It's kind of cool. Like a space cat bag. Yeah, it's an Eda doll bag. It's pretty cool, right? I like it. I like it. The next one I have for you is also from Lutz, but it is not a bag. I just felt like I needed to share it with you all. It's, I hadn't seen this before. It's an acrylic theater set thing. Isn't this neat? I don't know if there's like, I don't know if anyone has purchased these before, but it's just like a case. Like, I thought it was pretty cool because then you can make, like, tiny dioramas. Like, you know how that little guy's in there for your, like, 11 centimeter babies. Like, your little ones. And, like, you know, you get a cool little display case. Like, how cool is that? I don't know if it's worth 60 bucks, though. But, like, I just thought it was really interesting as I was looking through the Lutz bags. And I just stumbled across this. And I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. I kind of like that. So, just wanted to share that with you all because I thought it was pretty cool. The case is pretty cool. Now I'm here. <laughs> Now make one with four sides, right? That's why I was like, I mean, they made it for that. Why not make, you know, just a little step up? So, I don't know. They just didn't, so. Um, did you happen to come across any coffin carrier bags? I'd love one for my SD vampire girl, but I can't find any nowadays. Lovely, I did. But you're absolutely right. It's so hard to find for the larger scale dolls. And that's why I was, like, sad because Dalmore did have one. And I want to say it was for dolls i thought it was for bigger dolls 
and it was a coffin case. And it was really cool, but yeah, I don't know. But I do have some other ones that I can show you today. Uh, but yeah, the other coffin cases are like only for MSDs and like USD sizes that I found. Womp womp, so. <laughs> my precious blue bud dog was missing. Be prepared for my inner aggress coverage. <laughs> right? Oh man, I was be getting fools left and right. Anyway. Denver Doll has a section. I actually did not know this until I did the search uh, and did my research today. Um, has a section of carrying bags. And so you can buy carrying bags through them. So these are the ones that they offer. Um, and then they label them as to what, oh, they label to them as what size they are. So these are the SD bags for 50, which is like, okay, all right. And then 42 for, or 46 for the MSDs. And then the little ones are small. One six scale dolls is 32. So look, that's the last one on this one, guys. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then they have these little cloud carrier bags. I guess they're just really padded bags is what they are. Hey, Enclave, what's up? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're looking for a standard bag and you're in the U.S., I mean, this is a good option because they're U.S.-based and hopefully it'll get to you pretty quickly. And hopefully not with uh, crazy shipping stuff attached to it since it's not coming from overseas. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like some of these too, like I've heard other people buy like these like skinnier cases and they still shove like two dolls in them. So, I mean, I guess it's whatever you're willing to, to go with. Actually, does it have seatbelts in? Oh, hey, look, and it actually is by Dalmore. Just kidding. I was like, I didn't even get to see like who made them or where they got them from. Wow. So, okay. I didn't know that. They're, they're uh, selling the Dalmore cases. That's good to know. I really did not know this. This is information for me. <sighs> All right. Moving on. So this next one, when I first joined the hobby and I was looking into carrying cases, a lot of people suggested this one. I have never ordered from them, but I, from what I understand is that not only do they make a whole variety of sizes, but you can customize your case. Um, this is Cool Cat. And um, so on the left here, you'll see... Uh, they have a whole bunch of Blythe accessories and things like that. And then we go, where do we go here? No, I don't know. Let's just read down here. So this is the, they have a hard carrier bag and then a soft nylon bag. And it just says the bag can be carried and worn as a sling bag, has PVC boards inside to protect straps inside blah, blah 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 and so here's the size and they're folding it in this picture here oh and here are the cases so they have 70, 70 centimeter soft nylon bags all these different colors and options to look through 50 bucks for the prices for these bags here and then they have other ones so like i just i mean i never I never purchased from them, but I just, I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I don't know. I thought they did make custom cases. I may be making that up now. I thought they did. I could be wrong. I don't know now, but I thought they did. I don't know. Custom? I have no idea. Okay, now I'm giving you all false information. I don't know, but for some reason, I remember, like, back in the day, like, I thought people did but I don't remember. And I'm trying to see if there's like another section here. Here, just there's a section for just the carrier bag. Um, so here's a simple carrier show bag, doll carrying bag, Blythe carrying bag. So what happens when we click on this one here? Oh, it brings us back to this first page. Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything else. I really don't know, but I mean, maybe if you talk, the color of the picture would be completely similar to the real color. Please understand this before we do the condition. Well, let's see what happens when we click on one. So this is one. Oh, dang. Look at that. They have the little seatbelts inside. There's a little PVC board that keeps it straight. Waterproof. And then you get to choose from the colors. Duke. And there's a little picture of the thing. So maybe not really custom, but you get to pick the colors that are there. But for some reason, I thought they did. Maybe just back in the day they did. I have no idea. But there you go. Another option. Yeah, slowly these. Wow, these are nice. It makes me want to get rid of all my current junk and get one of these. 
Uh, I have no need for a carrying bag as I don't plan on taking my dolls out in, but this is so interesting to see. They're very intuitive. Yes, so many colors. The colors. Yeah, honestly, like, I, when I take my dolls out, like, for meets, I bring my doll bag, and then I have used it when I moved. When I moved, I put, like, the ones I really like inside of there, and I put them in there so that way I knew where they were at all times. The trio uh, travels in that bag. All three of my SD. I'll shove all three SDs in there. So, yeah. But, you know, I, like I said, I haven't ordered them from them before, but I've just heard a lot of really good things about them, so. ETs, what ETs? So, cool cats. Again, all the links that I'm showing you guys today are going to be in the info box that are below. So, if you uh, want to look back at some of these things that I looked at today, you are more than welcome to uh, check them out in the little description box uh, below. So, yes. Moving on to Etsy world. So, uh, as always, you can find pretty much anything on Etsy, including little carrying cases. So now, when I traveled over to Etsy, a lot of the things were made mainly for, like, the smaller dolls. The really cool cases are, like, for tiny dolls, like, even, like, 11 centimeter dolls. So some of these, unfortunately, if you have, like, an SD like me, it might not really apply because they don't have like SD sizes a lot of them the most I see is like the 45 centimeter range and below so but this one is from Iasio and I thought it was pretty cool because they have a little pocket here it's like a little it kind of reminds me of like a little makeup bag and then they also offer these two little sections down here for storage and then you tie your little doll in there which I thought was kind of cute it looks like people really like them. Look, someone actually put the little, what are these called? Pop vinyls in there. How cute. So, yeah. So, this there's this little one. I think they have other ones. Travel dogs. Travel bag dolls. I said travel dog. I meant to say dolls, bags, but then I saw dolls and bags and I said dogs. I don't know why that came out of my mouth. Anyway, so these are all the little ones that this particular shop has. So lots of little designs and things like that to choose from. Of course, they, they feature the Blythe. A lot of the ones here on Etsy are like Blythe, like Blythe dolls. And then they have these cute little sleeping bags. These are cute. Those are super cute. So, yeah. Um, just got another doll, so I need this stream. Oof. Yes. Yes. Etsy is both a blessing and a bane in my existence. There's so many one fourth and one sixth, but nothing for one third. I know, and that's like my favorite size. I love them. Xavier from Doll Chateau. What? Well, if you need a custom bag, maybe you can hit up one of these people on Etsy, and they can make one for you. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, the little sleeping cases are super cute. I noticed that there's a couple of people that make the little sleeping cases. Um, for their dolls. Yeah, and then this one that was gifted to me from my friend. Uh, they make little cases like this, too. Uh, this is a USD size case, and it's got little, like, it's soft on the outside, so you just shove your little doll in there, and you go zoop. Oh, wait. You go zoop, and then that way they're um, traveling safely with you in a little padded container, so pretty cool. So there we go. Um... And yeah, you can check them out. They're in Poland. Wow. Did not notice that. How cute is this, guys? <laughs> Why don't they make this for a large one? Although, can you imagine, like, walking around with a huge bag, like, with a little bubble? Like, that'd be freaking huge. Like, that's probably why they don't make these cute bags for SDs. Because it's just like, how how are you going to travel around <laughs> with this? Like a little, like a bag. It's like too big at this point. That's why like a lot of these cuter bags are for the smaller ones. Because who's going to carry around an SD on a sling bag? <laughs> well, well, I will. Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, isn't this cute though? I really like that the little bubbles in there and the little dolls inside. Like super cute if you're like a little USD carrier person or USD collector or smaller. Um, it says they fit most Blythes and things like that. Uh, but So I imagine that you can put like a USD inside there and it'd be pretty cool pretty happy in there so oh so cute though look at them these are other people that purchased the cases and this particular company has a lot of really cute little cases not gonna lie look how cute they are <laughs> and this one's bougie okay 
$69 for, like, this little leather purse that you can, like, entrap your little doll in the front. Like, okay, this is, like, a conversation piece. Like, I would, I would like, go somewhere with this bougie little leather bag and strap in a little doll in there. Because that's pretty cool, actually. Like, I think I would really like this. But, again, I think it's only, like, I don't even know what USD. It says 1 12th, 1 8th. So, we're talking, like, tiny in here. Tiny little guy needs to go in there. So that's why this little guy's in there, I guess. So yeah, but this is super cute. I can't, can't. <laughs> yeah, that does look like bread, right? Isn't this one cute too? <laughs> why? Why don't they make these for bigger dolls? These are like Nendroids in here, it looks like. They're really tiny in there, but can you imagine? Isn't that the cutest thing? It looks, it does look like toast, doesn't it? Ugh, bag is beautiful and expertly made. Very sturdy dome is clear and hard, and the bag has got plenty of space. Uh, I'd pay $35 for a little toast one, the astronaut one. I'm telling you, this one has a lot of cute bags, and I'm just like, can you just make it like a smidge bit bigger? I like these too. They're like little keychains. So if you had like a little USD guy, you can throw them in there and make a little eat a pouch, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, kind of neat but again yeah i think it's only I'm i keep looking back because i'm like where's my little one i have i have a tiny doll i think i gave it to my mom because i was like make her a dress you know that's i just threw her that way um but yeah look how cute this is it's like a little keychain you just shove your little doll in there like pff, come on like this is adorable like why wouldn't you want this but yeah these look definitely like smaller sized um dolls so i don't know if you'd shove a 27 centimeter in there i don't think you can but yeah, oh, it's just too cute. So freaking adorable. And these hard case ones are really cool too. It's like an actual hard case and you like get little guys in there. Look at all the options though. All the options. All the plagiarism that you could have. You know, that Pikachu one though. Look at that Pikachu. Why can't I have it? A little zipper. You stick him in there and he's like, hi guys. Oh, it's so cute. Why? I just want it, guys. I just want it for 50 bucks. I just want it, okay? Alright. Anyway, so feel free to check them out. They have a little astronaut one. Why? Why? <laughs> Why can't I have it? What is that? Ah, I love it. This one's blithe sized. This is a little bit bigger. So cute, though. 14 inches. The height, yeah, that's where we at. Suitable dolls are for Blythe and one six dolls. Can you imagine that though? How cute! Like seriously, this is stinking adorable. I would wear this. Ah, <sighs> I would totally wear it and you know sport it around. So yeah, that's wow, 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 wow. Mhm. Mm Feel free to check them out. Smallest doll I own. Picks you dragon. Don't think it'll work for me. I know. Oh my god. Can you imagine putting a little dragon there? It's cute. Little The little pet BJDs in here. That'd be super cute. Anyway. Going on. <laughs> I just like it. I don't know why. This person makes Blythe carrying cases. But you could, you know, probably put a 1-6 scale doll in there. But can we just talk about how it's so fuzzy and furry? And why is it fuzzy and furry? And I love it. <laughs> can we just say this right now? Oh my god. And it comes in many colors. Let me tell you. Okay. You see these? Boom. They also sell wraps, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can wrap your um, doll inside. Pretty neat. You know, like a burrito. But can we just talk about how these are great hoop shapes? <laughs> But please, though, look at it. All it really needs is a string to make it into a purse. And you bet I'd be rocking that furry little weirdo, like, here on the side of my hip. Like, people would question it. I mean, they already question some of the things I wear sometimes out in public. But, like, this just adds to it. And I really appreciate it. Like, this is... I love it. <laughs> Blythe Furbies. Oh, no. It looks like the Foster Incorporated guy. Why the owner's built. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, but do you know? Yeah, it is kind of funny, though, because you notice, like, how all these things are, like, for Blythe doll, like, collector people. It is funny. 
and it makes you wonder if Blythe people actually, actually, no, I take that back. There is somebody, I met somebody when I went to Dallas, and they had a super cute Blythe bag, and they actually had a Blythe in there. It was super adorable, so they actually do, people do actually use these, so. A fanny pack? Oh, heck yes. I would, totally. You don't understand. <laughs> so furry, I love it. So that's Flower Child Blythe, and that is going to be in there. Oh, gosh, you're right. Right? It's great. Moving on. So, here we go. Calming down a bit here. I feel like I've purchased from them before. I just can't think of what I purchased from them. Pants, maybe? Pants? Did I buy pants from them? Starshine Design. So, this is just a real simple bag. And it's got some padding inside of it, looks like, you know, and then a little zipper, and you just put your little guy in there, and that's that's what you do. Um, looks like it's for MSDs. Will fit up to 46 centimeter dolls. So, yeah, I mean, it does the job. You want a little bag? There you go. And I don't know if they sell any other ones. Oh, they do. Look, here's some other Halloween ones. So they sell four carriers in total, and they're Halloweeny. So if you like the Halloweeny, go for the Halloweenies. I think I did. I purchased something from them. What did I purchase from them? I'm like looking at my wall for my business cards. I think I bought pants from them. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Yes, right? Clothes. I, I'm pretty sure I did buy clothes. Epania. Blythe owners on Etsy are a different breed. I love them. For real, though. For real, though great 10 out of 10 all right so that is starshine designs and that is in my um link down below going back to those blythe bags okay this one though is a little much okay i'm not gonna say oh crap that's the other one i had pania okay so okay for tonight's stream i actually had all the bookmarks ready to go everything was organized it looked great and then for some odd reason my bookmarks didn't sync like, I had them on my iPad, and then I brought, like, up all my stuff on my desktop, and they didn't sync, so I was like, Krah! so I had to, like, think of all the things that I uh, looked at previously. I'm going to add that one, Pantia, because I, I meant to show everybody the Volks bags, too, so I'll, I'll grab that here in the side. But this one is bougie, okay? It's a custom leather <laughs> Blythe bag, and look at him. He's just like, yeah, I'm in here. Psh. I'm bougie. What, you, what are you going to do about it? Like, psh gonna be in this 147 dollar bag um all right peace out like seriously like what it's like actual leather in there and the little dolls in there too and i just thought wow that's pretty legit in there just chilling in there don't know if i'd spend that much money on a doll bag but you know i just felt like y'all needed to see it wow why can't i just God, why can't I just find this carrying bag? Volks, you did this for me earlier. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, I'll save these here. That will be next. Um, enough of that. Next, uh, I did want to show you guys Volks. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit to the, to the whatevers. But these are some of them. I think these are... I thought I had another one saved, though. But Volks does make some carrying cases, and so some of them are here. I don't... These are SD sized carrying cases, so here's, you know, little dudes in there. Chilling, like villains. But I really thought there was more. Why did I... Oh, I don't know what I looked up that I found. Can I do bag? Carrying bags? Oh, it's going to give me just, like, purses and stuff they sell. Maybe that was it. Was that it? I don't know. I thought there was more than just four or three bags. But, you know, these are the bougie Volks bags. Um, pretty cool looking. I mean, it looks like it kind of has the same amount of padding as my Dalmore bag. I do kind of like how they have... It looks like they have, like, little extra pockets inside. But, you know. Cool thing about artist dolls is they often come with a carry bag. Yes! For reals. It looks like a Blythe coffin. It did. It, that leather one? Yeah, it kind of did. They have a Miku one. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it was legit or not, but I saw one on eBay, like a Miku bag, and it was expensive. And I was just like, dang. Somebody's, like, doing this. Oh, look, 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 look. Here they are carrying cases. See, there was more. There we go. 
Oh, <laughs> there it is, 110. If you want that thing. Rain cover, what the heck? Dang, that's bougie. And a blanket, throw them in there. Bro, it's called a towel. Just kidding. <laughs> you get like this super duper like awesome bag and you just wrap them in a towel. Yo, that's, that's what I would do. Okay, not gonna lie. So yeah, it looks like they have, you know, all these different little bougie carrying cases and rain cover for your carrying case. That's so Volks, though. You know, that's how Volks is. Volks is very much like that. They bougie. The bougie is the bougies. Yeah. I don't know. See, like, some of the, a lot of the bags that I've been seeing that I noticed for the larger dolls kind of average on that $50 range. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this standard one here is 50 bucks, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I use soft scarves and stuff for wraps. A burrito. A doll burrito. That is what it is. Hello, mother. We're in a stream. Say hi. Hi. That's my mom. Um. Oh, here's the bougie leather bag. I guess I saved it on a separate tag. But yeah, I totally would buy it. I would use this bougie leather bag. The sad thing is, is that there's no dolls that fit in there other than my tiny obitsus. And my obitsus are kind of ratchet looking right now. So I would need to make my boot, my, my uh, obitsus look as bougie to be in this bougie bag. But yeah, 69 bucks though. I mean, I mean, it does look cool though. So, you know, <laughs> everyone says, hi, mom. <laughs> There's your coffin. You were looking for a coffin bag? Here it is on Dulk Station. Uh, DulkQS.com. Again, though, I'm really sad, though, because this is not really intended for SD sizes. Womp womp. This is for smaller dolls, as you can see. 20 centimeter, uh, 10 centimeter. I don't even know if a USD will fit in here, because these are pretty small, these dudes, I think. I don't know how big standard size these guys are, but ugh, they say hello, Samba's mama. Aww. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, I, I'm I'm really sad that Dalmore one was so cool. Like, I don't know if anybody else got to see it back in the day that really cool one, but you know, yes, I literally have a vampire character, right? It's super cute, but I only see it in this small little size though. So it makes me sad because they're tiny and I want them to make big ones. Like, that'd be really cool and it's clear. Can you imagine that? Put, I like how they put the flowers in here. So you get, like, the clear coffin and then you put the flowers in there and then your little doll in there. Like, that's really neat. And it's a bag. Like, psh, that's pretty cool. But uh, that price, though, 60 bucks, though? I don't know. I don't know about 60 bucks for this bag. So, mm, I, don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Looks like it might fit a 27 centimeter at most. Yeah, maybe. I think his head would be like really at the top there. So I don't know. I really want them to make bigger ones. I wonder if coffin shaped violin cases would be big enough for SDs. You know, real talk though, I have heard of people like I went on Den of Angels and I was looking at some of the threads that were talking about BGD carrying cases and somebody flat out did say that somebody like got like a guitar case or something like that and shoved their BJDs in there. So I mean, I don't see why not. I don't know how much it would cost though to to make that or to, like to get that, you know pimped out for your BJTs essentially but I mean that'd be a pretty cool case to have them so yeah um the other one I have here for you is Monstro Designs um I tried to see if they had any of their stuff like uh, available um and I think some stuff I don't know I don't know all the stuff behind her but um She's got, like, these really cool little bat wraps that she's kind of infamous for. Um, but I really, I didn't see any other ones in stock. So I don't know if she's just not making them for now or, you know, she just kind of makes them now and then. Um, but I, I do follow her on Instagram. She does talk about, um, you know, when her store gets new items in. So I could follow, you should follow them for that. But this is super cute. I thought it was a cute little thing that she does. So, yeah. People be like, oh, you play guitar? No, I play dolls. <laughs> That's awesome. I would love that for Rizzles. And if it would be worth the price since you have to retrofit it to be empty and a lot of them come with builds in them, so you have to take that out and reline it. Yeah, I know. I remember hearing that one of her dolls... Ooh, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I know. That's the only reason I was kind of like, hmm. There's a lot of stuff that goes on with them, so I'm not sure. But back in the back in the day, back in the day, she had sent me some stuff. So, you know. I have one of these bat wraps. They're so cute, right? Yeah, the bat wraps are super cute, though. So, yeah. Feel free to check them out. Or not. Whatever you want to do. But, yeah. I tried looking, like, on her MSD section to see if she had her mini fee. If she had some of them. But some of her other ones were out of stock. But... That is her in a nutshell. Now for the fun stuff. So that was all like super bouge, maybe kind of a little bit expensive, right? Um, maybe you kind of want to be frugal, okay? So lo and behold, I found some things on Amazon that you could use for your dolls. And it's funny because in my accessories stream, someone had left left a comment talking about how they buy things from the My Life. I think that's what it's called, the My Life doll section, which is like a brand that's like at Target and Walmart. It's these huge American Girl doll dolls. And a lot of those accessories fit like MSD size and SD size dolls. So it's a pretty convenient way to get some pretty affordable things for your dolls. So, lo and behold, oh no, where is it? <laughs> oh no, where is it? Did it not save? <gasps> Didn't I make a, I could have sworn I made it today. I'm about to punch something in the face. Did I do accessories, maybe? No, I didn't do it under accessories. Curses! Oh my god, what happened today on my laptop? Anyway, I had made a BJD carrying case. Am I just not seeing it? Organization, cleaning supplies, face-up supplies, beauty. What? I had made a list, guys. I made a list of, of BJD carrying cases. And now I'm like, where the heck is my list? Unless I just didn't add it to my store, like the little storefront list. Anyway, in the meantime, I look this up real fast here. Um, if you guys did not know, I do have some stuff listed here for you on Amazon. Um, actually a lot of these things from the BJD face-up supplies and cleaning supplies and BJD accessories are things that I have actually purchased. So I can tell you firsthand that they're actually, they're legit, like they're, they're good stuff to use. So, um, if you did not know that this, this existed, uh, well, there you go. Feel free to check it out. Um, then I'm gonna double check. I do have it! It just didn't add it to my store thing gumma bob crap how do i add this to there anyway i will move this over here real quick so here are the bjd carrying cases for budget friendly people so 18 inches is a, is comparable to 45 centimeters so anything that is labeled for an 18 inch doll is for a msd sized doll like you can get away with that if you are doing larger, you're talking about 25 inch dolls for Estes. And I could not find anything that was like 25 inch dolls. Because, you know, a lot of them are in this category. So, let's take a look at some of these bad boys that I got here for you. So, this first one's a very simple carrying bag. I do like how it has a little window here. And inside it, you can see that it's got that you know, little American girl looking doll. But hey, look at these pockets. Storage. Love it. We rock in with the carry. You haven't even seen it yet. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. Our generation at the Walmart one. Yes, yes, yes. I'd rather spend the money on clothes for my precious dolls. Those bags are hecka expensive. I know. So that's why I made this little Amazon list. So I'm going to convert this onto my Amazon page. So that way you guys can take a look at it. So a person in my local area uses the pet bags for meetups. And she sets them inside. I know. That's why I wanted to show you guys. It's so cool. Anyway, so this is the first one. Not too bad. And of course, down here, once you do that, it's like, hey, did you know we also have these bags for your dolls? So yeah, 45 centimeters probably can be shoved in here. And for 20 bucks, that's not too bad. You know, and it's prime. It'll get there real quick. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Anyway. Next, yo, I had to show it to you all, okay? People have used these pet carrying cases as BJD carrying cases. There, I don't want to get into it. I'm not going to get into it, guys. But there was some conspiracy that was going around because somebody was, like, essentially just 
I don't even want to get into it, but you know, they made them as BJD carrying cases and they hiked up the price a lot. So, you know, to each their own, if you want to go that way, I think they like, they were like, yeah, we totally made them custom, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We put a strap in them, but it's a hundred dollars. Like, eh, I don't know. I would rather just get like this kind of carrying case and then customize it myself. Like, I think I could probably figure out a way to put straps in here, like my little seatbelt straps and my other dolls have, and, you know, do it that way. Or, like how, you know, your friend is saying that they just kind of sat them in there. They don't really need seatbelts, unless you're going to be doing jumping jacks or something, which, why would you be doing jumping jacks with a doll carrying case on your back? But, I mean, just imagine that, okay? So this is a little cat in here. And you could have your BJD in here. And it's like a huge hard shell case. It's really neat because uh, my sister bought one for the cat that's here. And yeah, they, uh, I mean, it's cool. Like, why not? I mean, it's, it's 40 bucks, but you know, it will carry your dolls in it. And it, you can display them really cool. So, you know, <laughs> PE with your BJD. Got carry one. Yeah, putting lights in it. Oh! <gasps> What? Oh my god. That'd be so cool to put lights in there. Like, make it into an Eda bag. That'd be really cool. So, very affordable. I mean, you know. Because, I mean, look at it. I mean, you're paying $42. And if you were to get, like, a Dalmore bag. I mean, I'm not bashing my own Dalmore bag, okay? I love my Dalmore bag. But this was, like, what, 50 or 60 on the site? Not including shipping, which would be, like, another, like, 20 maybe $30. So you're thinking more like a hundred after everything is said and done versus getting this, which is like 42 and it will do the same thing and it has a cool bubble in the front. So, I mean, why not? Okay. Why not? Oh, geez. With a tiny, make a tiny, tiny diorama in the Eda bag. Oh, that'd be so cool. <gasps> I would love to see that. That'd be pretty, pretty awesome. All right. Next on the to-do list here I have for you is this one. It's just another generic case. This one's 21. Um, I feel like maybe this one looks a tad bit sturdier. I don't know. Also offers storage in the bag for you there. And a flip-out storage. Oh, fancy, right? And look at this girl. She's like, I'm just carrying my dolls. But then, you know, in reality, it'd be us being like, I'm just carrying my dolls to a doll meet. So, yeah. Mm. My mom keeps on looking. She's preparing Easter baskets right now. So that's what all that noise is if you hear it. Right? Oh, oh by the way, it's my... Oh, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Mimi do. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mimi do. Happy birthday to you. There you go. That was your special birthday song just for you. Bro, that bag is bigger than her. <laughs> I know. Yeah, this picture, she, she's struggling. Look at her face. <laughs> her face is like, the struggle is real. I just wanted to play dolls with my friends. Oh, God. Y'all are braver than me. Old bones hurt carrying them about. Wheel the hard case. Oh, that was another thing, too. I was going to actually add that, like those little rolly cases. Like the little suitcases. I was actually going to put that in my little Amazon list here too. Because I was like, you know, people, that's a legit thing. All right. So yeah, anyway, I feel like you could probably shove like two MSDs in here. This is pretty huge. So for 21 bucks, it's what it is. All right. This next one, I just thought it was cute because it's got like a clear case and it says amazing. And here they are. We're best friends with our dolls. Yeah, seriously, don't you think? Okay, because these are like huge. <laughs> They're huge. Mom's like sticking a picture of me on my screen. They're huge in there. If you think about a standard like uh, American Girl doll, you know, they're big. So I feel like you could shift two MSDs in there. Like, look at how skinny this guy is. Like, the, the how big american girl dolls are i feel like is the two of these so i don't see why not a coffin kill star suitcases what what kill star suitcases i'm gonna have to take a look at that hold on yes 
you should you should be living it up right now. I mean, you know, you know, eat some delicious food and all that good stuff. Look at this. She's like, oh, my doll's huge. All right, that one's thirty dollars. I don't know. I don't know why. Like the other ones are like twenty, and this one's like thirty. And I mean, other than it has backpack straps that look like eh, mediocre, I'm not sure if I would, you know, I don't know. But I put that there because you know it has pretty good ratings too. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, where did it go? Did it not save? Yo, I felt like so unprepared today. What happened to me? Okay, the last one I was going to show you guys, it was a joke. But I just thought it was really... Oh, there it is! There it is! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> a joke, or maybe not a joke, was this one. And it's a doll carrier front and back backpack doll carrier for 14 to 25 inch dolls yes remember what i told you earlier if it's 25 inches that means it's an sd size you can go around your doll convention strapped with your bjd like it's your son <laughs> great can you imagine like, <laughs> like they're right here like strapped like like this, <laughs> just like, you can't, can, you, you can't like, you can't casually walk up to people with that. Like, you can't just be like, you can't be like, oh, hey guys, how are you guys doing? Whew, I tell you what, it's just like, this is just weird. With his little feet dangling out, you know, just like, like this, like a baby. Like, why not? I, but you know what, if I saw somebody walking around with that, I would definitely go and talk to them <laughs> just for fun because, you know, you've got to be, you got to be gutsy. You got to be like thinking you're ahead of the time carrying your doll in a baby carrier. Okay. I'm 20 bucks guys comes in two highly fashionable colors, gray and black. So, eh, eh. And look, there's a little pocket for BJT snacks. Oh, God. A side pocket. You could shove a USD on that side one. Oh, man, guys. But seriously, though, look at how happy she looks. <laughs> BJD in the front, kid in the back. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny is I actually have, I don't know if it's, where is it, though? I don't know where it is. But, yeah, I actually had one. I carried my daughter in one of these kinds of little bag things um, for a while. And, you know, thinking about it now, <laughs> these dolls probably could fit in there. Oh, jeez. You know, stay strapped. <laughs> what if you just want more, like, five dolls on your mom fast? <laughs> I don't know. You know, maybe... Maybe you shove two of them in the front and two of them in the back and you just put their legs together through the, through the hole and then you just put them in there like that. You know, look, God, this large front pocket. Why wouldn't you want the, oh, it only has the front pocket in the front. Just kidding. You couldn't put them in the back. Yeah. This makes me laugh. I really, you know, I just thought you guys wanted Matt, I'm, I'm just imagining walking up to people with a pit bull in that thing. <laughs> But seriously, you know, and you know, okay, I ain't gonna, you know, in that Den of Angels forum post, people were talking about carrying like banana strollers and carrying their dolls in the banana strollers. And if you don't know what a banana stroller is, because you don't know, it basically the little collapsible strollers, um, they basically have like a little canvas seat. Uh, but people were talking about that in the, in the thread. And I was just like, when in Rome, you know? Husband said you need to protect the face, <laughs> right? Oh, man. But, like, seriously, like, you could walk around with it and put a face protector on them and, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, you could. I, I'm not going to say anything you can't. It's not that you can't. I just thought this was a great addition to our list here. So, you know, if you didn't know about this already, there you go. You're welcome. So that's what it is. <laughs> I want to. I went to a meet and someone brought their 87, 80 centimeter doll and a. No joke, dude. If it's eighty centimeters, you 
do need a stroller to carry that doll around. Holy cow. 80 centimeter. Well, it's like that other one. It's like 150, that Lucian, Lucian or whatever from Dolmore. That one's like toddler size. Like if you sat that down somewhere, people would probably be like, that's child abandonment. Like, what are you doing? Why is that kid by himself? It's like, no, it's just a doll. Holy moly. Oh, and then didn't somebody say too, like that when they got that big, that you could actually wear baby, they could actually wear baby clothes when they're that, when they're that big. Yeah, Trinity, Trinity, that's the one. You could put a doll more Trinity in a stroller. Yeah, the Trinity is that huge one. Like, holy cow, like what? Ugh, I'm really sad that I didn't put it in here, though. I'm going to add it, though. I, I I see the list here off to the side. I just made a separate list. I didn't make it into my um, actual items list of recommended items things. I made it as a separate list. But, yeah, so in case you guys are wondering about that, that's there. Mother, why have you abandoned to me? <laughs> they can wear the kids section clothes. I I've, I've heard that. That's crazy. That's insane. Like I don't even know. Like you don't even have to buy BJD props. You can just buy actual like toddler items for your doll. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Anyway, what a blast, right? As always, you guys are more than welcome to check out the links uh, from today's video there in the bottom section there. I'm going to fix my Amazon list right now as soon as I'm done. Um, but yeah, if you guys hear of other really cool BGD carrying cases to check out, put them in my comment section or here in the live stream while it's still open here for a little bit. And uh, yeah, I would love to check them out because, you know, sometimes... Sometimes we just want to roll up in our BJD meets in style and just be like, yo, look at my bougie bag. And, you know, sometimes you're also just like, let me just throw them in a towel and throw them in a tote bag. So, you know, either way works. You know, it, it, it gets it done. So uh, my friend has one and she posts on Instagram. What? Seen the cutest decked out Lolita stro stroller at a con pushed by a woman all dolled up as a Lolita girl bonnet and all what a lolita stroller like she had a doll inside there and she was dressed in lolita that sounds really cute like a cute photo ops and everything so anywho's thanks again everyone for joining my my hour here of streaming i did not finish my wine but i will be finishing it here and sipping it as i convert my lists over uh. As always, feel free to check out the blog, bjdlife.com, and then my YouTube, and then I will have a video for you guys here on Friday. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do, so <laughs> that's what it's going to be like. Have an awesome night, dolly-tastic day, Mimi Do. Hope you have a fantastic birthday, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Hope you guys have a great day. She had a panel. What? That's cool. All right. Bye, friends. Bye. Bye.